Hi, KOG here. Um, well, um, I haven't been putting up any uh, content for like 10 days or more. And uh, last time I had this type of uh, hiatus was uh, due to COVID. And uh, this time it's the same thing. It had just it happened again. I'm feeling much, much better. I'm okay now. Uh, but uh, now my wife has it and it just, the whole thing is a mess. And uh, anyway, I just, uh, I just couldn't uh, because of many reasons. Um, I was basically trying to just hold on doing uh, my work. Uh, but anyway, um, that being aside, uh, the reason I'm here, I got so freaking mad uh, at this whole sugar thing. Uh, and it just, God, you know, um, this, this deranged, petty, asinine, just great, just stupid ass people. Or, what they're doing just pissed me off. It's those flowers they sent uh that is you know making me livid over this thing um before i start my rant on this flower thing uh, let me make it clear sugar messed up he should be punished not more than anyone else not less than anyone else just like like anyone else okay who is driving uh, more electric 30 kilometers or you know less uh, vehicle uh, while being intoxicated to a point you know 0.227 percent which is ridiculously drunk that's it no more no less that's it okay now the flowers. I don't think non uh, people who doesn't know about Korean culture fully uh, would understand this. So that's why I'm making this video. Okay. <clears throat> There's only two occasions where Koreans send flowers that looks like that. Okay. One is a joyous occasion. Uh, like weddings or uh, store opening and things like that, where people who know you or who are your friends, they send you this stuff. Okay, those are like those uh, pretty ones. Now, those white ones, which looks like chrysanthemums, those are specifically sent to funerals. Now, those things are saying, please make sugar, you know, kick sugar out of BTS. And they sent it to uh, um, <clears throat> Hive, okay? Now, that just messed up. Such a, this isn't such a bad taste. I don't know about you guys, but how I'm taking it, what I see is this. Well, you're dead, or they're wishing sugar dead. They're presuming sugar to be dead. Maybe not physically, but looking at kind of people they are, they probably want sugar dead too. Uh, but basically, most likely, it's like, well, your career as an artist should be dead. That's what they're saying. And you know what? If they all, if they sent all white flowers, I wouldn't be this mad. It wouldn't be this bad. Because as bad as that is, this is worse. This is freaking messed up. Because the rest are happy flowers. It's a joyous occasion. Is it joyous for sugar? Is it joyous for hide? 
I don't think so. I'm sure they don't think so. So why are they sending those pretty flower sets? To me, I think it's a celebration for them. They're hoping Sugar's career as an artist would be over as BTS. And they're so happy about it. What, what, sorry, what kind of people are these? What's wrong with this freaking shitheads? I'm sorry. I, if you, you guys, if you guys know me, I don't, I don't, uh, use profanity often, but these people are sick. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That just pissed me off. Uh, maybe I'm taking it wrong, but I don't think so. Um, Why do they revel in someone else's, when they, someone else's falter? It's so sad what kind of people these are. And I know they're not ARMY. It's not what BTS stands for. It's not what BTS try to do in their lives, including Sugar. Okay? My best guess is these are people whose lives are so, so pathetic, useless losers, so that they just cannot stand people who are better than them, who work harder than them, and become someone important and be successful than them. So I guess they hope for these people who are visible like sugar to falter so they can be joyous and revel in their failures. And there, are, I guess, you know, looking at the number of flowers they sent, I, I'm guessing there are there are a bunch of these guys and gals who I guess have a like a gathering where they get together and and I guess sit around and pray something goes wrong so they can be happy about it and wish someone else's career or them to die. Oh God, what's wrong with these people? So, that is why I'm so mad. This is done in such a bad taste. They're so spiteful and so pathetic. It got me off the bed, basically. Okay? Now, let me t t talk about the rest of the stuff. Um, yes, he did wrong. And he, he should be punish punished, like I said. But... The law dictates that he wasn't driving a car, so it's less of a crime, right? So, yes, he did wrong, but there's level to it. And his level is not that high, and it is his first offense. And something like this should end someone's career? That's, that's, that's a, just a flat-out bullshit so if I'm a construction worker or whatever if I work in a factory and I got drunk had too much beer and then I got drunk and I drank more and then uh, you know I fell over okay does that mean I should never work again as construction or factory worker how am I gonna make my living oh I talked about this before. This Korean culture has this weird thing about these entertainers are public figures. So they should act as, you know, public. No. They're entertainers. These public figures who should, uh, you know, 
uh, exude perfection in morality or whatever. Well, you should be expecting that from like politicians and, you know, like uh, uh, public servants. But I am sorry, but Korean politicians are crap. You know? And they have done a whole lot of crazy stuff. And you know what? They're fine. This is same thing in US or whatever. In Korea too. It's just these are artists who create music. And if people happen to enjoy their music because of their hard work or their, their ability, they get famous. That doesn't mean they should be the beacon of society and life. Hmm. They're not perfect people. And no one is. According to Jesus Christ or just any religion or any wisdom says everybody messes up. Everybody. It's a given. Now, how bad of a thing you did, you should repent, you should pay for your mistakes, but that doesn't mean you should give up on your livelihood. Um, hmm, sorry about my rant, but oh, this pissed me off so bad, man. It, it really did. It just, these are the times you kind of lose faith in humanity. It just, I, I can't believe there are people like this, you know, just bad taste. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. I'll be back very soon and um, I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.